So I'm looking here at the mullion, this little middle flapping part of the French door on the Samsung fridge. And a little cap that sticks out here, fractured off, broke off. I'm going to show you a way that we might be able to replace it without having to replace the whole mullion, which is like a $75 part. So there's the channel where the little peg is supposed to go in. As you can see, when you close it, it's supposed to, this mullion is supposed to go in the channel and close automatically like that, so you don't have an air, air gap between the two doors. But it doesn't do that, and I have to just close it and then manually close the mullion so that when you close the fridge, it will seal completely. But, um, so anyway, I'll show you what I do, what I'm going to do to replace the little nub that sticks up here so this mullion will automatically close and then automatically open on its own when you open the door. So the mullion is now fixed with this uh, little peg installed like I showed you with the screw and the super glue. I had to shave it down a little bit off the top here so it would fit um, where it's supposed to go. Here, let me show you how the French door closes. And it automatically closes and goes right in there where it's supposed to. Fits in there and closes automatically and then opens automatically again just like it did when we first got the fridge. Before that dumb little plastic peg broke off, I wish they would start using stronger parts to make their fridges. See, just like that. The problem is when you go to close it, and if you try to close it like this, it's going to slam that there and that's where it probably broke. So. So I'm going to use this little shelf bracket to replace the little peg that's supposed to stick up here and actually is the perfect size. So if I stick that in there, you're going to see that's going to fit in there and then it's going to work like the peg did before and then automatically close the mullion like it's supposed to when you open and close the door. So I'm going to take this, and I'll show you how I did this. I had to shave this top part down just a little bit to make it fit. And then also, there's a little slight ridge. You can see that little slight ridge where it, where it broke off. And I took this little file and filed that down just a little bit on top. To make it so it's just smooth on the top here. That little I wanted to get rid of that little ridge the plastic piece that was sticking up had broken and I wanted to get rid of that ridge so it will mount on there better. And so this little piece will fit on top just like that and fit right in the right spot. So I'm going to take one of these uh, shelf brackets that you normally use to, you know, you can buy at the hardware store just to put uh, shelves in. And I shave down the top of it here a little bit and then I'll use it to fix the mullion on the fridge. So I'm going to put this little thing, mount it in the vise right here, and then shave it down just a little bit. So make sure there's no sharp edges there. Smooth down so it's a little bit shorter and there's no sharp edges on it. And that'll work well. So let's see. Let's see if this is the right size. Let's check that. Uh, yep, that looks good. It fits right in there just fine. So now I'm going to use some glue and a stainless steel screw to hold that in place. So I'm going to mount this little piece right here. I have a little um, stainless steel screw. But before I put the screw in, I'm going to use a little bit of super glue. You could also use silicone or uh, epoxy or something like that. Carefully mount it in the same exact spot where the post was before. You may have to drill a little bit of a pilot hole here. I want to ream out the whole.
hole too big because I want that screw to grab it pretty well still. Now I'm going to put the screw in. So I have a pilot hole there now. And super glue as well. I think hopefully it will hold. So I'm just going to clean up a little bit with this little brush, a little bit of the excess glue. Someone makes these cheap plastic parts in these fridges that break, so I'd try to engineer one that would be hopefully even stronger than the plastic one as long as it stays screwed and bonded to this okay. Alright. It's looking good. The glue is dry and it looks pretty strong. It's, you know, shut it and it closes it automatically for me. That's pretty awesome. Sometimes it pays to just find little random parts in the garage that fit what you need to use them for. So, see, works just like it's supposed to. Awesome. All right, I'll let you know how it holds up in the comments of the video here, but hopefully this will last. A long time and make it so I don't have to buy the $75 part and replace the whole middle thing there, the the mullion, which would be actually a bigger pain in the butt to replace anyway than just screwing that on there and gluing it. Like I said, I'll probably add some epoxy to the top there to fill in that broken spot and maybe some silicone or something, but for now this is looking good, working awesome. Just for reference purposes, the fridge I'm fixing is the Samsung RF266 AEPN, but it's probably very similar for any French door type refrigerator. Take the stainless steel screw and screw this into the plastic right here. Maybe. <laughs> 